gentle and freeing meditation from me. So as we are kind of, you know, flowing and going through it, it'll be really uh, a meditation with no rules, but a soft guidance to a place that we're going to go. So I, I just hope that you enjoy. I hope that it makes you feel peaceful and relaxed and perhaps even connects you with higher aspects of yourself, but there'll be no expectations. And uh, yeah, I just really appreciate being here with you all. So it's a pleasure. Wonderful. Thank you, James. And we talked about doing music. We talked about doing all sorts because James is a very gifted musician and he's got mm. some hands and flutes and drums. But but you decided because it's your, your space that it was going to be less warrior like and more angelic. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, in, in a lot of the teachings that I give, I explore every duality and every, should we say, archetype within people. And I did get a new drum, which is really cool, but it is a very... Um, it's a very deeply resonating warrior type, um, should we say, sound and resonance. So who's to say you guys wouldn't have enjoyed it, but I was getting a calling of something different today. So yeah, I'll be, we'll just be going by voice today. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So if I could ask you, James, if you just mute yourself and um, then we'll move into screen there and we'll enjoy this video wherever it is. Um, oh God, Susan, what are you doing? Hang on a minute. I've even lost screen share now. Are you still there? Zoom. Okay. Uh, screen share. Here we go. Share. Now, could you just put your thumb up if you can see this okay? Because I'm still... <laughs> I hope you can hear it okay. So let's let's go into playing this. Enjoy six minutes. Sit back and enjoy. Can you hear it? journey is evolving continually, is inspiring people to, to step up, to be part of a mom community, a global mom movement of raising human and global consciousness. There's a great synergy between HeartMath Institute and mom. Mom is about a peace movement and HeartMath Institute is really about developing practical understandings and tools and techniques for peace, starting with how we develop our own inner peace and inner connection. And this is what we're doing today. We're doing the practice of uh, the art of meditation and mindfulness with the science of heart math and the global consciousness projects. So that's very powerful. I think Sue's vision is, it's brave. It's taken so much courage, but I think everybody was called to support her and to support this vision. I feel really strongly about that. I'm very excited about where this is leading, you know? When we go through difficult times, and we get very heavy and in dark places to have those chinks of light where you know that within your community you can reach others and the purity of the mom intention is to open hearts and open minds in the safe supportive environment when people can find their way to that intention and that supportive group you start to feel a sense of belonging. And when we feel a sense of belonging, we start to thrive. It's like a seed we've planted. And it's starting to grow very, very gentle roots. What is meditation? What is mindfulness? What is self-healing? What is mass meditation? I believe that sites like this have been created so that they can now be used in this time. Um, we're all ready now to make a contribution towards improving the planet and creating a better earth and loving Mother Nature and actually putting back now. So by having this beautiful site now available for all to use, it doesn't belong to any church or faith or religion, but it's still sacred space. That magnifies everything that we do together in a collective. And this is what the monastery is all about in our day this is now about us using those same 
design principles and the power of meditation and mindfulness and prayer to bring people together, connect in that heart-centered coherence and actually then be able to spread the healing across the planet. There's what's called the Maharishi effect, which says, you know, if you change 1% of a field, it will have an effect on the other 99%. You are the vortex of delight. You are the vortex of peace. You are the vortex of love. You can radiate whatever it is you're putting your attention on. It's about togetherness, all of us, all cultures, all religions, all people coming together in this uh, harmonic resonance of, of well-being. We are creating the momentum. That's where the word mom comes from, by the way. You're creating the momentum for massive change. So we're all kind of merging in this heart space in love, and compassion, peace. It's really, really incredible to be part of it. And knowing then that like, I personally got students and friends who are doing similar events in Sedona, in Montreal, um, California, Australia, that we're all connecting in this moment and everybody can feel it today, actually. As a clinical psychologist, I have this kind of science behind me, understanding of the mind and, and our emotion. This uh, event gives me the opportunity to combine the science with the spiritual side of my work. And it's just been the most beautiful day. Just feel really honored to have been part of it. And when we did the meditation inside, there was just one little moment where the sun literally just came around the corner and just shined on the face and I just burst into tears. It was just like, oh, God, that was just like source energy. I was like, finished the meditation, I was looking up at the sky and I said to myself, how can I love the entire world? How can I love every single person in the world? There are people all over the globe who are hearing this call to wake up and to show up. It's not enough to care. We must take action. So we are in conversation at the moment of setting up something called Mom in Community, where, again, co-creating on the global mom, where people can come together in their communities regularly as we move from times of chaos, which we hear a lot about, into, into these beautiful times of, of coherence. Go back to the tab you are on, you should be able to close the tab down. Okay. Hmm. Let me just try this again. Uh, hello. hello. Good. Good evening. So if you close that down. Good. So mm. <laughs> You so, clo close down your iTunes. So if you press the, the red X, then. Um, so, I so now stop. we have three choices. So I will give you a lot of choice and ask you to raise your hand. If you so yeah, you if you click on the screen like now, you should be able to stop that. <laughs> so three choice. The first is practice meditation first. <laughs> we practice together. I'm sorry, I can't seem to Second, stop it. Uh, so you can either click on the screen or press the space bar is. I learned meditation. Third. So I've got to the, meditate. Ah, I see. Ah. There you go. <laughs> see, James is my guru when it comes to doing that. <laughs> <laughs> which is true, actually, isn't it? Okay. It is, yeah. <laughs> we'll stop so there. which one first? I think you've pressed it again. So it, you should be able to click. If, uh, if you press a the F button. Stop share. Okay. I think I've done it. Sorry, folks. <laughs> oh, we do our best, don't we? Okay. So, James, you said in there, I wrote it down, it's so powerful. How can I love the entire world? 
how can I love every single person in the world? Oh, what a what a beautiful message that is. Very, very, very moving. So um, with that in mind, um, with self-love and self-acceptance, may I hand over to you? I'll go on to mute and then we'll Absolutely. enjoy it as long as you want. Okay. Okay. So now I can only see one person at a time, so I hope that... Uh, I think I can see you, Sue. So if you're able to I put you on to let me know. Yeah, so it should be okay. Can you uh, can everybody hear me okay? If you can let me know if they can. Yeah. Perfect. So before we begin, I'll actually very briefly give a little answer to that question as to how we can love all people in the world. Because of course, there are certain people in our lives who we perhaps must have sacred boundaries and a certain amount of detachment around. And the answer that I received was to see beyond the physical body and see the spirit and the soul behind. So when you can do that, you can see from a much higher perspective and then not only understand the higher truth, but alleviate yourself from some, should we say, stresses concerns or things like that so interesting little thought before we begin so how we'll be doing this meditation this evening is just very free flowing so there are no rules to this i want you to breathe at a pace that is comfortable to you i would like you to if you need to fidget if you need to move allow your physical body to do what it needs to do and then allow me to guide you with my my voice and we will be going to a very, very beautiful dimension or place in our mind. And of course, with everything, it'll be given with free will. So honor yourself. And if something doesn't feel right or anything, then just go within and sit with your peace. Okay. So get yourself into a nice, comfortable position. And of course, close your eyes. And what I'd like to do first is I would like you to take a breath in and out. And as you do, on the breath in, feel yourself expanding. And as you breathe out, just surrender your human body, surrender your muscles, and allow you to venture. Okay, so we're gonna take a breath in. And feel yourself expanding. And as you breathe out, just surrender. And again, we're gonna take a breath in. And as you breathe out, just relax. And finally, one more time, just breathe in and expand. And as you breathe out, just surrender. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on different parts of our body. And again, we're going to put our thoughts or our consciousness into those parts of our body. And as we breathe in, we will feel them. And as we breathe out, we we'll relax. So I'd like you to start with your feet. And as you breathe in, Feel your toes, feel the muscles. And as you breathe out, just relax. And 
And again, just to remind you, breathe at your own pace. Honor yourself during this session. Now we're going to focus on our lower legs or your calves. And as you breathe in, feel the muscles. As you breathe out, just surrender. And this time we're going to focus on our thighs. And as you breathe in, Feel those muscles. And as you breathe out, just relax. Now we're going to move just a little bit higher to your hips and all of the muscles around your hips and your belly. And as you breathe in, feel any tension. As you breathe out, just let go. Now we're going to move a little higher to your chest, in the middle of your back. And as you breathe in, feel your rib cage expanding. And as you breathe out, just let go. Now we're going to move a little bit higher to your shoulders, the muscles around your neck, your arms, and all the way down to your fingertips. And as you breathe in, put your mind in these body parts. And as you breathe out, let them relax. Feel free to rotate your neck. We can hold a lot of tension in our necks and our shoulders. In this moment, we are surrendering any concerns, any worries, any fears. This is an experience we will have that is outside of time and space. Now we're going to rise just a little higher to your neck alone. And as you breathe in, feel the expanding. And as you breathe out, just let go. Here I would like you to pay attention to your throat chakra. The throat chakra of all human beings has an immense power. The power to love and nurture. The power to honor oneself. And the power to change the world and environment around you. Very subtly, Ask yourself the intention of your being. 
Do you wish to come from love? To care for those around you? If the answer is no, that is okay. But if the answer is yes, then feel the warmth within you. Know that whatever choices you make, with an intention of love, they will always be the right choices. And now we will rise just a little bit higher to your chin, your cheeks, the muscles around your eyes, your forehead and all around your head. And as you breathe in, feel all these muscles. And as you breathe out, just surrender them. As this is a form of self-care today, just check over your body once more. Allow it to be still. Allow it to flow. And find a state of serenity. This time is just for you now. Now with your eyes closed, I would like you to be aware of your room. If there are any sounds, welcome them. They are okay. If there are any distractions, it is okay. Feel present in the room that you are in. Now together, we're going to take one final breath in. And as you breathe in, be aware of any tension. And as you breathe out, just try to let it go. Be as still as you can. Okay, when you are ready, in your mind's eye, I would like you to take a step backwards or wherever is best outside of your body. As you take a step outside and you see the human vessel that is your personality, that is who you are in all of your wholeness. Find a moment for some love and gratitude as this person who you are looking at is able to experience on this planet. They are able to feel emotions, they are able to make choices. They have an enormous power in their heart to do good and bad. But the choice of love is always one that can reach higher, that can create more. As you see yourself outside of your body, just begin to rise. Just so you're floating off the ground. 
And as you rise, feel yourself moving upwards and out of your house or your room or your flat, wherever you reside. Feel the atmosphere as you're floating up through the clouds. Upwards, out of the atmosphere of Earth. And see yourself amongst the stars. And as you are still rising higher and you see the planets, you feel the light and energy from a universe full of possibility. Keep on rising higher and higher. And as you keep rising upwards, above your head will appear a white sphere. This sphere is a doorway, a portal, a pillar of light that is going to allow you to ascend into a realm and a dimension that doesn't often get seen in our earthly selves. And as you rise higher and you enter into this sphere, feel the warmth if you can. Feel the energy, the bliss, the serenity. As you are traveling through this warmth, through this light, keep rising higher and higher until eventually you'll come to a stop and you will be able to step out. And as you do, for as far as your eye can see, you may see a white dimension of pure light. Ground is almost cloud-like, soft to your bare feet. The air feels warm and inviting. The energy is soft and nourishing. Take a moment to breathe this in. In a very real sense, this dimension has no darkness, no anger, no fear, no judgment. It is a place of love, a place of higher perspective, of clarity. This is your place, should you choose for it to be. In the honoring of our own self care, I would like to invite you to an experience in the deepest honoring of your free will. You may refuse this in your mind and that is okay. You 
you must feel with your heart and with your intuition that this is something you would like to experience. In front of you will appear a door. This door may look like any door. It may look like golden gates, the wooden door to your living room, or a stone archway, however it appears to you. Allow it to appear. Outside of this doorway, may be a guide or a guardian of this door. Perhaps you will see them, perhaps not. They may appear as Egyptians, native Indians, animals. Whatever you do or do not see, Know that this door is protected and know that it is yours. On the other side of this door may or may not be your guides or your higher self. People and beings who wish to love you, to guide you, and to show you how you can love and care for yourself in the most beautiful of ways. If you would like to experience meeting them, I will humbly invite you to walk up to your door, to turn the handle and to walk through. Trust yourself and whatever you do or do not experience is okay. You may see loved ones. You may see light or angels. You may even see yourself. A forest or a beach or a mountain. I'll leave you for a few minutes to experience this.
when you are ready, you may bring some gratitude or some thanks to those who you may have seen. If you didn't see anybody, you didn't experience anything, that is okay. Find it in your heart to give yourself the deepest love for simply being and giving some time for you. And it appears that there is chaos around us and outside of our body. We may almost always be able to find a little part of serenity or a little moment of peace within. No matter your beliefs, no matter what you see, know that you are loved for who you are in your physical body and you are loved for who you are beyond it. You are an expansive being that is capable of the most beautiful acts of love for yourself and for others. And know that the earth of light and it is on a path of change for the better. This is something you can only know in your heart and in your gut. And you must follow those feelings. When you're ready, I'd like to invite you to walk back through your door. Give your thanks and gratitude if you wish. Close the door behind you. Softly walk through this dimension of light and this soft angelic energy. All this pillar of light. And as you descend down through your body, or through this pillar of light, I should say, descend back down through the universe, past the stars and the nebulas, and all of the way back down to your human self, protected and loved. And when you're ready, bring yourself slowly back to the room. Allow your light to fill your body again. Bring yourself back and take a drink of water and open your eyes when you're ready. And as I can't see anybody else, Sue, you're more than welcome to take over the next part if you'd like to, whilst everybody is coming back. Thank you.
James. My goodness me. Feeling very light and grounded. And let me stop the recording so I can put everybody on so we can see everybody.